So I'm just going to draw in some MIDI notes, kind of at random. And we've just got a 909 snare drum. So I'll just duplicate that clip, control D. Like reverse these notes a bit. Um, if I press control U, it quantizes them. So we got a bit of variation. So let me just draw in a quick um, chord. Now, I'm now going to mute these snares because I'm only going to be using them to trigger the filter on this synth. Just going to change it to a saw wave. So now in my devices here, um, I have an envelope follower, which is a Max for Live device. Um, I think it comes free on Max for Live Essentials. Oh man, I've loaded it onto the wrong track. I actually want it on the 909 snare track. Now if I press map, I can then map that to the filter on this synth. So them snares are opening and closing the filter. So now we can adjust the parameters in the envelope follower. So the gain just increases the value coming into it. And the full parameter um, increases the time it takes for the envelope to fall, so like, kind of increases the decay or the release. Um, and I've just adjusted it to taste really, so we've got like a kind of dub chord, kind of stab. So now I want to create some variation with this chord. And a really cool trick is, If you draw in all the notes in C major, which is basically all the white notes, and then the top two notes and the third note, shift them down a semitone, you then have C minor. Now shift them all up to whatever your root note is in your chord. In my case, it's F. If you press fold, you now have all the notes in F minor. So you can quickly make chord variations. So invert that chord. So we're only going to hear the notes where the snare drum is triggering the envelope. Um, I'm just going to put an auto filter on there for a bit more modulation on the bandpass setting. Um, if we turn the amount of LFO up, uh, we just get a nice bit of modulation on the chord. Bit of ping pong delay. So 
So we'll also be able to use the envelope follower to modulate parameters on the effects of this synth. Um, I just put a utility plugin on there and, and turn down the width a bit so it's a bit more mono. I'm just going to put a uh, reverb on there using Ableton's large hall preset and turning off the high cut so that we get all the high frequencies coming through. Um, just turning the mix down a bit. So now I'm going to map the envelope follower to the frequency parameter on the ping pong delay. And you could map it to whatever you like and um, just be creative with it. Like you could map it to the pan on the mixer. You could map it to some of the parameters in the reverb, like anything. Just, just experiment to your heart's content. and. Um, What about a bit of auto pan? So we get um, just a subtle bit of panning going on. Adds a little bit of interest to the, uh, the stereo field. Uh, next, um, I'm gonna put a compressor on there just to level things out a bit, um, make things a little bit smoother. So now I actually want to modulate some of the parameters in the envelope follower. So if I go over to this MIDI clip here and go into the envelope editor and unlink the timing, we'll now be able to get some polyrhythmic automation going on which I find adds a lot of interest to your music, especially if you're making kind of like techno -y stuff. So the automation is not following the clip. Um, it's following its own timing. Such a powerful tool. What if I go back into the MIDI clip and change the actual instrument that's, that's triggering the envelope. So right now it's a snare drum, but what if we put a couple of kick drums in there? It should modulate the shape of the envelope a bit. Uh, we've got a tom drum. Yeah, that sounds cool. So there's like um, endless options here for modulation. This is the freeze parameter, which actually um, freezes the envelope. Try modulating that, could get some cool results. As I said, guys, it's just, it's just down to experimentation. Uh, just have fun with it. Thank you. 
What if I unlink it again and um, some polyrhythmic automation again? Phase modulation on the auto filter and turning up the whip from the utility plugin just so we get a bit more um, stereo information. You never have enough reverb, so. Um, just turn up the decay time a bit. That genuine ambient vibe. Now what if I go back into the envelope follower and map it to the reverb dry wet? Yeah, it sounds kind of cool. Um, what if I reverse the modulation so that... Yeah, we just get like a little bit of ducking and reverb. Yeah, sounding good. But overall, the, the sound is a bit bright. So I'm going to go back over to the gain here. Turn it down and um, it just sounds a bit more mellow and chilled out. Um, ready to dro drop some deep house drums over there or like dub techno. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.